So the first variation we're going to go with is a bilateral hip thrust, okay, um, with no, no support in the box, okay, so meaning Haley's not going to have a box underneath her back, she's just going to be flat on the floor um, and she's going to be having her hips facing the ceiling when she comes up. So we're going to give her this barbell, we're going to put the, um, the padding around the bar, okay, around the hip, hip height, and we're going to roll the bar over the thighs, okay. So Haley's going to come down onto the floor, bring her hips nice and high, sorry, feet nice and high, there you go, cool. Now to set up her feet for this one, she wants her feet turned out 15 degrees, just ever so slightly, okay, that's going to target your glutes a little bit more, and she wants her, he uh, her toes, sorry, raised ever so slightly, okay. So from there, Haley's going to take a nice wide grip, and as she, uh, as she brings her hips to the ceiling, she's also going to push her weight with the bar, just to prevent it rolling down back across her face and uh, strangling her, okay. So if you come up from there, Haley. Good. I'd say you probably want a narrower grip, slightly, ever so slightly, yeah, and push the bar way more. Yeah, cool. And you see at the top of that movement, she's got that 90 degree joint angle with the knee, okay? So um, that's pretty much perfect. That position is the one you want to get to. Come down from there, Haley. okay? That was like a five second isometric hold, <laughs> okay? Um, so yeah, with this one, obviously follow the tempo. You might have like a one and a quarter rep, you might have like a three second isometric hold at the top. Um, just follow the tempo. Just go to go through one and a quarter at what that is now. If you come up, Haley, yeah, and then come down slightly, and then come back up from there, yeah. That's a one and a quarter rep. So when we're talking about come down from there. When we're talking about one and a quarter rep, it's not touching the floor and then coming up a quarter away from the floor. It's all the way up, quarter or halfway down, whatever it is, and then coming all the way back up. Okay. Next variation we're going to go through, okay, is the single leg hip thrust again with no support in box. So I'm going to give Haley the dumbbell and Haley's going to use the dumbbell on one side of, uh, of her body. Okay? She's going to straddle it over one side of her hips, right? Whatever foot she's using, whatever um, side of her body she's using, so whatever leg, this one we're going to go with the left leg first, she's going to keep this foot down, she's going to have the dumbbell straddled over that hip and then she's going to raise this foot off the floor, okay? So the way I'd set up for this is you want to start with both feet, okay? So again, turn your feet out 15 degrees, toes up off the floor, come up from there, okay, with both feet, raise this one, yeah, and then start from there. So come down, tap the floor, and then punch up all the way to the ceiling. Come down again, tap the floor, punch all the way up to the ceiling. Cool, good. Leave it there. So a, a really good way to... Um, to find out if you're doing this right, okay, is to figure out whether you're feeling it more in your hamstrings or more in your glutes, okay, so more in your, in the back of your leg or your bum, right, I'd say that Hayley, you, where did you feel that? A bit of both, yeah, I'd say you're a little bit too far out, so bring your heels in, yeah, there you go, cool, give it another go and that should change where you feel it a little bit more, you feel it more in your bum? Yeah. Ever so slightly, yeah? Cool. You don't need a lot of changes, make sure you're at the 90 degree joint angle, so you might want to go sideways to the mirror or something, okay? You want to have your shoulder blades, okay, on the box, so you don't want them to be absolutely uh, stab. you don't want the box to be stabbing into your shoulder blades, you want your shoulder blades to be here and the box to be right here, okay, so you want your shoulder blades to be a little bit above where the box is, okay? From there, joint angle, exactly the same, maybe you should roll in a tiny bit there, yeah, cool, 15 degrees out, toes up, come up from there. Nice and high, yep, yeah, cool, come down, tap the floor, straight back up, good, and see how she's keeping her arm straight, she's not letting that bar roll backwards, if you look at the, come down from there, if you look at the path of the bar, it should come up in one straight line, it shouldn't come up and back, so give it another go, yeah, it should come up in one straight line, there you go, and as it comes down, it should come straight down to the floor, okay, the single leg, hip bridge, using the box, okay, so nothing changes whatsoever with the joint angle here, she sets herself up in the exact same way, which her shoulder blades are above the box. She's coming up with two feet, raising one foot, and then coming down from there, hitting the floor, straight back up. Yeah? Now again, if pass me that dumbbell. If you're doing this without any weight, if you're doing this without the dumbbell, let's say if it's in your program uh, for like just technical reasons, if you're kind of learning the movement, right? And you've got a single leg hip or a single leg hip extension. You're gonna set yourself up in the same way, okay? So 15 degrees out, shoulder blades above the box, uh, toes pointed up, come up with two feet, now you're going to raise one leg, okay, and if you want to hold that leg or if you want to suspend it in midair, it's totally up to you, as long as you're not using that leg to get up, so as Haley comes down, I don't mind what she does as long as she doesn't do, come up, 
that, yeah, as long as she doesn't start kicking up in the air, yeah, using the momentum of that foot to get up. Other than that, that's all good.